Yo there guys, what is up, Luke Games here, and today I'm going to be showing you an easy method on how to kill Pantera. Now this isn't by far the easiest method, nor is it the simplest method, but it is an easy way to kill Pantera when you are early on into hard mode. Now I've rocked out the Necro Armor, you can use the Cross Necklace, and any accessories that pretty much boost your range. Because today, we're going to be using an Uzi, you can use a Mega Shark, you can use any sort of range weapon. I'd really recommend ranged weapons because it'll work for what we're going to do. Now, the other things you're going to need is a one-second timer, which I'm going to show you how to make one now. Uh, on the PC edition, you can just buy them, so you could just buy a one-second timer. But on the Xbox edition and most other editions, you do have to make them. So to make one of those, what you'll need is 10 gold bars and one piece of chain, if I remember correctly. And that will make you a gold watch. Now, this has to be a table and chairs to make you the gold watch. Once you've got that, all you've got to do is head over to your anv anvil and make the one second timer. All you need is that one gold watch and one wire, and you are ready with your one second timer. Of course, like I say, if you're on PC edition, just literally buy one. The other things you're going to need for this is teleporters, a wrench, a bit of wire. I'd say at least bring 200 pieces of wire if you can afford it. It's not, it's not too dear anyway. And any, like I say, any accessories that boost your range... But also, you're going to need to bring a lot of bullets with you. Now at this stage of the game, you probably won't have chlorophyll bullets. So I'd really recommend that you buy normal musket balls. You could buy the silver bullets if you really want to. But I'd really advise buying the musket balls so then you can upgrade them with either Icor or Curse Flames. Depending on which world you're in. If you're in a Crimson world, you'll get Icor, I believe. And if you're in a Corrupted world, you'll get the Curse Flames. So they're the two things you'll get. Go ahead and make these bullets. I think the cursed bullets do work a little bit better. And all I, personally for me, for the weapon I'm going to use today, I'm going to be using the Uzi. But like I say, use any ranged weapon. Doesn't really matter. I think the Uzi uh, performs a lot better against bosses. So we're going to head over into the jungle biome now. You can head over here, make a little trap, farm for the Uzi. It's a really easy thing to farm for. Doesn't take too long. You can make a little trap from Happy Days or Chippy Gaming, Mr. Up and Ninja. They've all got traps on their channels that you can check out. Also... Before you kill Plantera and let the bulb spawn, or the spawner as people like to call it, you have to kill all three mechanical bosses now. Before you only had to kill one, but now you have to kill three. Once that's happened, the jungle will grow restless. Once the jungle's grown restless, you will get Plantera bulbs spawning you all from then on, and it can be at random. It doesn't have to meet any sort of criteria. Then I'm going to go in with full heart crystals, and I've got full heart crystals, but that's nothing when Plantera gets enraged. There's a little trap that I did before, and I did that on like episode 30 or something really early on into hard mode so once we are what you want to do is you want to hollow the ground around it here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hollow it all out and make sure you have around i don't know maybe eight or nine blocks up just above where you can actually mine so when you are doing this you have enough space to jump up and down So we've mined out the left side now, and what you want to do is you want to make it completely flat, and make sure the plantera ball is pretty much just about off the screen, so you can just about see it from here, put one teleporter down, and put the one second timer somewhere near it, so you can activate that later. Now we're going to do the other side. Again, just do exactly the same, as long as it's hollowed out. The plantera bulb is just about off the screen. You can do it a bit further so the plantera bulb can't get you. But what you want to do is you want to make a little bit so that the actual teleporter is blocked in. This might sound crazy and it might seem like I'm trying to get you killed or something. But I'm really not, guys. I'm really not. This method is quite easy. It's quite simple. From here, all you need to do then is wire up the teleporters on each side and make sure it goes to the one second timer. This will allow it to teleport you in succession of one second intervals. So I'll go one, one, one. And what I like to do is I like to put the wire just over the plantera spawner. Just in case when I turn on the one second timer for some reason, it would um, spawn the plantera. It's, it's very, very unlikely, but it could happen. So a little tip, it's good to put the one second timer about waist length, just where your head is. So that when you're actually shooting out with your bullets, which I'll show you soon, it's really efficient. So once you've made sure your wire has ran through the whole thing, make sure your one second timer is spawning and make sure you can fly up just in case Plantera gets a bit close to you then you can teleport to the other side fly up let him get a little bit close to you then teleport to the other side and it'll work really good like that so what you want to do is you want to put a little hole there see what I've done 
to put the little hole on the right hand side. And you want to do this on the left hand side as well. It's good to keep it in line, like I say, with the one second timer, because then it gives you sort of like a place to shoot. Now, what you want to do is use the Plantera spawner, literally block yourself in and leave one block, like I say, and then activate the one second timer. Try and get the Plantera in the middle. If you are on Xbox One, you can zoom out. If you're on PS4, you can zoom out. I believe uh, PC has a bit of a distance as well. Remember, use all potions that you bought as well. You don't have to bring potions. I just bought them just for a little bit of bonus, extra. But there we go. I can zoom out now. And I can just about see the plantar. All you want to do is you want to try and keep it in the middle so that it don't use its hooks anywhere else. And yeah, just so it stays in the middle and doesn't attack you directly. So I have actually forgot to put my cross necklace on, but it is way too late now. I might as well just keep going. But that cross necklace can give you a little bit of bonus, a little bit of extra life, a little bit of extra living, because it gives you one second invulnerability. So if one of the hooks do actually get you, you've got one second, and it's every time you take a hit that that happens. So here we go, as you can see, the plantar is getting really, really close to the right hand side. So what you want to do is on the left hand side, if it does get any closer, what you want to do is fly upwards so it flies back at you this way. But you know, as long as in this one, see what I mean? I'm going to fly up there and then the plantar will come to me that way. And it'll keep coming that way as long as I keep going. When it gets enraged, it's much easier to manage. But when it gets enraged, its hooks do a lot more damage, so you've got a lot less chance of living. But remember, I've only got like 25 defense now. If you are rocking like Chlorophyte Armor or Turtle Armor or any sort of armors, maybe Mithril, Cobalt, because you can't actually get the Chlorophyte, I don't think, before this. You can actually make the Drax, so I'm incorrect there. You can make the Drax, and you can mine Chlorophyte with that. You could have Chlorophyte Armor right now and be rocking that. You could even have, like, say, Turtle, which gives you a lot more defense. Make it for the Warden. But you can see it's getting really close there, so make sure you get it around the middle so it don't directly attack you. And be really careful of its tentacles. Really a 50-50 thing, really, if you're going to live or not. As you can see, Plantera's Hook actually got me there, and it's taken a lot of life off me. So you've just got to be really careful in what you do. Make sure you heal up quite often as well. That'll give you a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a bonus. As you can see here, Plantera's got really, really close. What you want to do is just fly up, make sure he comes back at you, and try and get those hooks away from you. Because if they are on you, they take off a ton of damage. We are so, so close to dying now. Like I said, the Cross Necklace would have let you live a little bit longer. I mean, I might not have even been at that much HP at the minute, but we are so close to killing him. Any second now is going to go down, and Plantera has been defeated. That is the simple method I have of killing Plantera. Now, it's not going to work every time. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to work every time, but that's an easy way you can kill him. If you are struggling, what you can do is you can say it all up, save, and then give it, like, a couple of goes, because you can exit without saving on consoles, but if you are on PC, you're going to have to find another one. Settle the trap up again. Like, say, once you got it down, it doesn't take long to set the trap up. Remember, bring armor that increases your range, bring weapons, like an Uzi or something, and remember, use a cross necklace. It's really good after taking damage to get the invulnerability. Use a minion if you can, and just bring any other bonus things that may increase your stats. So that's been it today, guys. Thanks for joining me. Please do like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace. I'm on my bling bling song, yeah. I could do this all day long now. I don't know where I belong now. Tell me where it all went wrong yeah. now. Yeah. Oh no no. Oh please don't go. I got shows. I'm on the road.